Imagine your vision slowly fading, like a thief stealing away precious moments. It's a gradual process, often unnoticed until it's too late. You might start by missing small details, like the fine print on a label or the subtle colors in a sunset. Over time, these small losses accumulate, leading to a significant reduction in your quality of life. This is the reality of glaucoma, a group of eye diseases that damage the optic nerve, leading to irreversible vision loss if left untreated. The damage is often so gradual that you may not notice any change in your vision until the condition is quite advanced. The optic nerve connects your eye to your brain, transmitting visual information crucial for sight. Think of it as a vital communication line, carrying the images you see to your brain for processing. When this nerve is damaged, the communication is disrupted, leading to vision loss. Glaucoma often has no symptoms in its early stages, making it a silent threat to your vision. You might feel perfectly fine, with no pain or noticeable vision changes, while the disease quietly progresses. This makes early detection crucial. Regular eye exams can catch the disease before significant damage occurs. During these exams, your eye doctor can perform tests to measure the pressure inside your eyes and examine the optic nerve for signs of damage. Glaucoma is a leading cause of blindness worldwide, affecting millions of people. The World Health Organization estimates that over 60 million people are affected by glaucoma, with many more at risk. It can affect anyone regardless of age or ethnicity, though certain groups are at higher risk. People over the age of 60, those with a family history of glaucoma, and individuals with certain medical conditions like diabetes are more susceptible. The insidious nature of glaucoma makes awareness and regular eye checkups vitally important. Knowledge is power in the fight against this disease. By understanding the risks and taking proactive steps, you can protect your vision. Don't let glaucoma steal your sight. Be proactive in your eye health. Pay attention to any changes in your vision, no matter how minor they may seem, and seek medical advice promptly. Understanding this silent thief is the first step towards protecting your vision. Stay informed and vigilant. Educate yourself about the symptoms and risk factors and share this knowledge with your loved ones. Regular eye exams are your best defense. Schedule yours today and safeguard your sight for the future. Remember, early detection and treatment can make all the difference in preserving your vision and maintaining your quality of life. Glaucoma has different forms, each with unique characteristics. These variations can significantly impact how the condition is managed and treated. Understanding these differences is crucial for both patients and healthcare providers to ensure the best possible outcomes. The most common types of glaucoma are number one, primary open angle glaucoma or POAG, and number two, primary closed angle glaucoma, PCAG. Each type affects the eye in distinct ways. Primary open angle glaucoma is the most prevalent form accounting for the majority of glaucoma cases worldwide, while primary closed angle glaucoma is less common but can be more severe. Primary open angle glaucoma is like a slow leak in a pipe, where the problem develops gradually over time. This slow progression often means that individuals may not notice any symptoms until significant damage has already occurred. The eye's drainage system, called the trabecular meshwork, gradually becomes clogged. This clogging process is slow and often goes unnoticed until significant damage has occurred. The gradual nature of primary open angle glaucoma means that regular eye exams are essential for early detection and management. This leads to a buildup of pressure inside the eye, damaging the optic nerve. Over time, this pressure can cause irreversible vision loss if not treated. The damage to the optic nerve is often permanent, making early intervention critical. Primary angle closure glaucoma, on the other hand, occurs when the anterior chamber angle, the space between the cornea and the iris, becomes closed. This angle houses the trabecular meshwork, a spongy tissue responsible for draining aqueous humor and maintaining proper intraocular pressure. Primary closed angle glaucoma typically involves a sudden blockage, causing symptoms that are abrupt and severe. Unlike primary open angle glaucoma, which develops gradually, primary closed angle glaucoma is easier to detect 
due to its sudden onset but requires urgent treatment. In this condition, the drainage angle becomes completely blocked, leading to a rapid and painful increase in eye pressure. This sudden rise in pressure can be extremely painful and demands immediate medical attention. Symptoms may include severe eye pain, headache, nausea, and blurred vision. This is a medical emergency. Prompt treatment is crucial to prevent permanent vision loss. If left untreated, the rapid increase in pressure can cause permanent damage to the optic nerve within a short period. While both types can lead to blindness, the treatments differ. Primary open-angle glaucoma is often managed with medications and laser treatments, whereas primary closed-angle glaucoma may require more urgent surgical intervention. Medications for primary open-angle glaucoma typically include eye drops that help reduce intraocular pressure, while laser treatments can improve the drainage of fluid from the eye. Understanding these differences highlights the importance of a comprehensive eye exam. Regular checkups can help detect glaucoma early and ensure timely treatment to preserve vision. Early detection is key to managing both primary open angle glaucoma POAG and primary closed angle glaucoma PCAG effectively and preventing significant vision loss. Other types of glaucoma that can also be found include number three, normal tension glaucoma. Normal tension glaucoma is a type of glaucoma where damage occurs to the optic nerve even though the pressure inside the eye is within the normal range. The exact cause is unclear, but it may be linked to poor blood flow to the optic nerve. People with a family history, low blood pressure, or certain vascular conditions are at higher risk. Number four, secondary glaucoma. Secondary glaucoma develops as a result of another condition, such as eye injury, inflammation, or the use of certain medications like steroids. It can also occur due to eye diseases like cataracts or diabetes. The treatment focuses on managing the underlying cause in addition to lowering eye pressure. Lastly, number five, congenital glaucoma. Congenital glaucoma is a rare form of glaucoma that occurs in babies, typically due to improper development of the drainage system in the eye. This causes increased eye pressure, which can damage the optic nerve. Symptoms include unusually large eyes, sensitivity to light, and excessive tearing. Early diagnosis and treatment, often through surgery, can help preserve vision. In diagnosing glaucoma, the IS NT rule is crucial. In a normal eye, the inferior neuroretinal rim is thicker than the superior optic nerve rim, which is thicker than the nasal, and the nasal is thicker than the temporal. In glaucoma, this rule is often violated. This rule helps eye doctors identify early signs of glaucoma by examining the optic disc. Additionally, glaucoma to disc features include a vertically oval cup a large cup to disc ratio, and neuroretinal or optic nerve rim thinning. These changes are critical indicators in the diagnosis and management of glaucoma. Recognizing these features, along with functional assessment through visual field tests and structural evaluation via optic nerve head imaging like OCT, ensures early detection and effective treatment, ultimately preserving the patient's vision. I noticed my peripheral vision fading. Diagnosed with primary open angle glaucoma, POAG, I now manage my condition with medication and regular checkups, continuing to paint. I experienced sudden excruciating eye pain and blurred vision. Rushed to the hospital, I was diagnosed with acute angle closure glaucoma, known as PCAG timely treatment save my sight. Behind the medical terms and statistics are real people whose lives have been touched by glaucoma. These stories remind us that glaucoma can affect anyone. They also highlight the importance of early detection and timely treatment in preserving sight. Understanding glaucoma indicators. Let's delve deeper into the measurements and indicators of glaucoma. Normal intraocular pressure ranges from 10 to 21 millimeters of mercury. In glaucoma, this pressure often exceeds 21 millimeters of mercury, leading to optic nerve damage. Additionally, the displacement of the central retina vessel's trunk is a significant indicator of glaucomatous changes. Nasalization, although nonspecific, can be observed in some cases. A large disc and nasalization 
could be found, but no glaucoma and an advanced glaucoma could be present with no nasalization. Furthermore, the color of the fundus can provide insights into the glaucoma condition. Here's a diagram of a normal fundus. There could be non-glaucomatous optic neuropathy where the pallor is greater than the cupping and glaucomatous optic neuropathy where cupping is greater than pallor. Understanding these indicators is crucial for early diagnosis and effective management of glaucoma. By recognizing these signs, eye care professionals can take timely action to prevent further vision loss. The key to fighting glaucoma is early detection. It's often referred to as the silent thief of sight because it can progress without any noticeable symptoms until significant damage has already occurred. This makes it all the more important to be proactive about your eye health. Regular eye exams are crucial as they can catch the disease in its early stages even if you have no symptoms. These exams are not just routine checkups, they are vital screenings that can make a world of difference. Many people are unaware they have glaucoma until it's too late. By the time they notice vision loss, the damage is often irreversible. This is why early detection is so important. During an exam, your eye doctor will check your eye pressure, examine your optic nerve and assess your risk factors. These steps are essential in identifying any early signs of glaucoma. Eye pressure tests, for instance, can reveal elevated pressure that might indicate the onset of glaucoma. Your doctor will also review the results with you, explaining what they mean for your eye health. This comprehensive approach ensures that nothing is overlooked. One important tool is the ICE-NT rule. This rule helps in the detailed analysis of the optic nerve, which is crucial for detecting glaucoma. The ICE-NT rule stands for inferior, superior, nasal, and temporal, referring to the thickness of the optic nerve in these regions. It helps doctors analyze the optic nerve looking for signs of damage that might not be immediately obvious. This detailed analysis can reveal subtle changes that indicate the early stages of glaucoma. By looking for these signs of damage, doctors can intervene early. Early detection allows for timely treatment, which can significantly slow down or even halt the progression of vision loss. Treatment options may include medications such as eye drops or even surgical procedures. The goal is to reduce eye pressure and prevent further damage to the optic nerve. Slowing down or even halting vision loss is possible with early intervention. This proactive approach can make a huge difference in maintaining your quality of life. Regular follow-ups and adherence to treatment plans are essential. Protecting your sight starts with you. Schedule regular eye exams, know your family history, and be aware of the risks. Understanding your personal risk factors can help you take the necessary steps to protect your vision. If you have a family history of glaucoma, you are at a higher risk and should be even more vigilant. Other risk factors include age, certain medical conditions like diabetes, and even ethnicity. Don't let glaucoma steal your vision. Take action now to ensure a future with clear sight. Early detection is the best defense. Make it a priority to see your eye doctor regularly. By being proactive and informed, you can take control of your eye health. Remember, early detection is key. Make it a priority to see your eye doctor regularly and follow their recommendations to protect your vision for years to come. Help raise awareness about glaucoma by sharing this video with your friends and family. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable health tips. But awareness is just the beginning. We can all take steps to protect our vision and the vision of those we care about. Start conversations about eye health. Encourage loved ones to get regular eye exams and stay informed about the latest developments in glaucoma research and treatment. Remember, every action counts, whether it's scheduling your next eye exam, sharing information with a friend, or supporting organizations dedicated to eye health. Your efforts make a difference. Together, we can fight the silent thief of sight and ensure a future where clear vision is within everyone's grasp. Thank you for watching. Let's take action together and make a commitment to eye health. See you in the next video.